there, Toy here, and um, I am <laughs> still kind of at the end of my little snow snowpocalypse, so I'm getting in some more um, videos while I can. I'm going to be, you know, trying to do this throughout the year, and it's going to be probably more difficult for me to make my videos, so I'm getting some ones in now while I can. The snow has stopped falling and we are out of like 20 degree weather so things are getting better but I didn't have to go to work today and that's probably going to change tomorrow. So this video is going to be one of two so you're going to see me in this more than once. This one is a I guess the second video in my reading challenge update. Uh, I didn't even think about uh, maybe mentioning what I was currently reading and um, in doing so I realized I told you I set my reading challenge for 30 books which I guess technically it would be 32 if you're at all following uh, following me on um, Goodreads because um, I finished two books on January 1st so it looks like I'm actually ahead of the game on my challenge but I'm really not. I figure I'll tell you real quickly what two books I just finished reading. My reviews are live on Goodreads um, but I haven't necessarily posted those to my blog yet. I'm trying to schedule things. It's early people. Anyway, um, one of the books that I finished on January 1st was the graphic novel to A uh, Wrinkle in Time and um, I'll just give you a quick overall impression. I feel like this is one of those books where you probably should have read the original first and I'll admit I tried to read A Wrinkle in Time when I was a kid because it's one of those books that you know is critically acclaimed and war women people love this book. But when I tried to read it as a kid, I couldn't get into it, um, didn't relate to the characters. I don't go into that more in my actual review. But needless to say, this book is absolutely beautiful. I loved reading it. It has a wonderful kind of blue on white and black tone to it that can be a little solemn at times, but then it can be very bright. So if for nothing else, I mean, it's a beautiful book that I will always keep on my bookshelf. I mean, sometimes I give books away or, you know, make them into gifts and stuff, but this one, even. Another book that I recently finished on January 1st was Adapted for Film and that's one of the books by Stacey Rourke which I've probably talked about her a lot. I like her stuff and so that review is also live on Goodreads but I haven't posted it to my blog yet and I'm sure the images will be on here somewhere for you. So now I'm going to quickly move on to what I am currently reading and let me put my glasses on. I don't know if you can tell, but these are my busted glasses. You know how you have like certain clothes or shoes that you only wear in the house? These glasses are only for the house. They're kind of all chipped and stuff like that, but they get the job done. Um, so right now I have four books on my currently reading list. One of them is Gemini by Carol Casella. And that is a book I am reading for my book club at school. Um, and I have no excuse for the fact that I haven't finished it yet. I'm literally like at the 50% mark and my book club meeting is in two days. I probably won't finish it. I'm going to try, but we'll see. I'm not going to give you kind of any impressions about the book right now. I'm going to wait till I finish it and then, you know, I'll go from there. I'm also currently reading Of Water and Madness by Katie Jennings and that's the fourth book in her Dryad Quartet. And um, I don't know how long ago she wrote this series, but it's a great series. And I've always just been kind of like spacing it out. I think maybe I read one book in the series a year, which is really kind of sad. I mean, <laughs> it's not that difficult of a series to read. And I do like it. It's just that, you know, I'm all the time reading multiple things. So that's the last book in that series. And maybe afterwards I'll check out some more stuff by Katie Jennings. Um, I'm also reading the second book in the Nexus series by Carrie Butler and this is actually one of the books on my list that I wanted to try to read this year so I'm actually you know in line to maybe make my list and um, after you know I read it or whatever I'll try to contact her see if by some miracle she'll you know let me interview her again I'm not holding my breath on a lot of these it's just kind of something that I like to do and um, oh and this last one that I'm currently reading, I'm really kind of excited about. I um, have a coworker that at my, at my school who told me that her father wrote a book, and it's here. It is. It is um, less from the back of the store, and it's nonfiction. It's really short, 
and I, I, base, I guess it's just basically st life lessons, stories, um, things that he's learned from um, the back of his parents. I think either general store or pharmacy. I literally, she gave it to me before the holiday and I misplaced it. And I told her, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like freaking out. And then I found it. So I'm on like page two or three right now. And it's really cute so far. So this won't take long to read. And that's what I'm currently reading. Um, I did recently post a new review to my blog if you want to check it out it's called has anyone seen my brain and it's the middle grade fiction and I also had an opportunity to um, interview that author now this wasn't part of my list but it goes along with the theme of what I'm trying to do this year um, to read and review books and if I have a chance to interview the authors it's middle grade fiction and I won't go into a whole lot of it now I'll leave the link below because the review is up on my blog now and I believe the interview by the time you see it, it will be as well so maybe i'll leave that link also if you want to check it out it's going to wrap this up and i'm going to shoot my next video which will be uh my first in my series of countdown to the con season so bye for now